tuition fees is a huge debt for young people that they carry with them for a very long time. And that's why we rightly committed at last election to get rid of tuition fees. What about university point. tuition fees then? Will you remain committed to scrapping them in They're your first term? They're all pledges, Andrew. So the answer to these questions is yes. So university tuition fees being scrapped will be in a Starmer manifesto? Yes, that's why it's the a The next pledge. election. Okay. Me going to university as the first in my family was an incredible thing for my family because it was part of that ordinary hope of working class families. On tuition fees, I felt very, very strongly um, that one thing that benefited me greatly was not having tuition fees. If, if you come from a background uh, or family that hasn't got a lot of money sloshing around, um, and this would be true of my family, people don't like to take on debt. Um, and they're scared of debt. Governing people by debt is a really effective way of controlling them. Do you still believe in free university tuition? Well, you've also uh, dropped pledges to abolish university tuition fees. When we talk to voters, some of them say, I don't know where he stands on anything, and that's partly because of a series of U-turns on uh, abolition of tuition fees. Why should anybody believe you? you? After the damage that's been done to the economy and having costed cutting tuition fees and having costed bringing down NHS waiting lists, I'm left with a choice, a political choice. I can't do both. So long I want term, to... you will return to a pledge to ab ab abolish tuition fees? No. The cost of scrapping tuition fees is estimated to be around £8 billion. That might sound like a lot of money, but it's, it's less than you would make from just making capital gains tax the same as income tax. The money is not available to do both um, 40,000 um, appointments every week to bring the waiting list down and tuition fees. Okay. It's totally uh, sort of mind-boggling logic that it's too expensive to invest in education. Investing in education is one of the most efficient, smart ways that a government can spend its money. So are people right to worry that any promises you make now will be junked once you're in number 10? 